Hello Capricorn and welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be a reading for the uh, first going through to the 7th of August. Uh, I've already done your monthly readings for the uh, uh, for August, so you may want to go out down to our channel and check that out. Uh, let's, oh, apparently that card wants to come out. Uh, so Capricorn, Seven of Swords, that's the overall energy for you, uh, this reading at the moment. Um, this is going to be about your relationship side on the right hand side and your money side on the left hand side. Uh, you're fully into your summer now, so things may be really progressing. You might have lots of ideas, lots of uh, things coming to fruition. Um, and that Seven of Swords is all about playing smart. You've got an opportunity arising here, and I talked about it last week, um, and I said it was coming through you, I think. Um, and certainly in your uh, monthly readings, I think we talked about it as well in that section there. And it's seizing the opportunities and knowing what is really good for you. I'm in a beautiful place at the moment. It's called the Sanctuary. Uh, there's lovely female energies flowing through here. So, uh, yeah, let's just get straight on in there on your uh, relationship side. Uh, if you want to know more about the Astro Flower, there's loads of links in the description below. Okay. Uh, let's just see what the karmic message is for you on the relationship side this month. There's things, there's, there's loose ends to tie up. There's like admin to do. It's like, uh, and, and Virgo had this as well, um, and Taurus as well. So it seems to be very much an earth thing. Um, but it's, it's, it's like admin where you've got to, um, you know, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a few things left in the air that need to be sorted out, I think. Um, yeah, it's okay. So gifts coming in for you. And I think it's if you do sort this admin out, if you sort out um, um, what you're doing, where you're going and opening up, that's been a major part of your readings over the last uh, two weeks, opening up your emotionally, you're going to receive a lot of offers uh, in life. And this could be also... You know, this could be about love. Um, this could you could be falling in love with someone, um, and it you know they 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 might have realised, uh, and they may turn around to you and tell you this week. Uh, and it's yeah, so there's it may be also come from the family, the friends, the community, that sort of thing. You know, there may be offers of of general heartfelt love for you. Uh, let's just see what's going on with the uh, universe. See how the universe is trying to influence your karmic path. They want you to find peace, um, and you may it may have been difficult over the last sort of month trying to find peace emotionally uh, in your life um, and within relationships. And I think that's what the universe is trying to trying to encourage within you. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. There's a lot going on for you. It's all moving. Um, they're offering you maybe miracles, a moment where you just kind of go, wow. That's really put me squarely in love. Um, so that's maybe what the universe is offering you here, you know, uh, peace and harmony and realizing that, yeah, you can have it all if you want it, uh, Capricorn. You can have it all. Uh, let's just see how the guys are trying to influence your um, relationships or your karmic path from your relationships. They're really opening up to the idea of, of love, but love of life, love of enjoying those moments of sitting down and having laughter with friends, family, or lovers, or your partner, um, and just enjoying those, those, those moments, basically. Uh, and your guides here are really trying to um, create connections with others that are around you so you can have that moment of just pure love within you or uh, around you page of pentacles uh very capricorn sort of thing very long-term thing uh, uh, victory coming in but also long-term victory and understanding the cultivation of relationships of cultivating uh the happiness that is within you but also uh you know if you find it within you that peace within you and that happiness within you and you and express yourself and this may well be you offering out this love maybe now think about it and it just sort of comes back in there thank you very much on that but 
it might be you offering out love and stuff like that as well um, into the world. And it's understanding that looking at the longer term plan in regards to relationships and, uh, you know, Capricorn, you can be headstrong and sometimes be a little bit argumentative. You know, don't say you're not because I'm a Capricorn and I know I can be. If you want to argue about it, we will do. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. But, you know, we can be a little bit headstrong. And I think this is this is the summer summer love that's just sort of like making you ease up a little bit on that sort of respect. Let's just see what's going on um, with the conversation that's uh, within you. Okay. Poetry. I think this is all to do with that expression thing and allowing the words to flow rather than thinking about what you're saying. I think that's where your guides are just kind of going, just, you know, like someone having like an earpiece and them just feeding you the lines. That's what they're doing in regards to relationships. Ah, yeah, it could be tying up old relationships. And I think that's what the administration thing was all about. Um, you know, reevaluating how you, all the relationships that you've been through in your life and how they sit with you now uh, and how you express yourself now. It's a really soft and beautiful side of you, Capricorn. And there seems to be a lot of that coming out. And that came out in the monthly readings as well. You should really go and have a look at that. It's a really beautiful uh, collective message, but then also on a personal level as well. Um, so yeah, that softer side of you, that, that more mature side of you, um, you know, because you can have that childlike energy within you, uh, no doubt about it, Capricorn. But now it's the moment of being that sort of, that figure that's a little bit wise, a little bit lived, a little bit scarred, uh, that sort of thing about life, and then just, you know, re-evaluating your relationships that are around you. Let's just see what the uh, karmic message is in regards to your money side of life. This is really strong, girl. This is, this is, this is a different kettle of fish to the relationship side. So you may well be concentrated a lot on your financial side. I think it's tied to the ideals of what you want to live in your relationships. And I think here is sort of like, it's not just determination, it's, it's that hard work that you've done that you've got to follow it through. Hmm, healing, a little bit of rest. I think it's like, so, um, Yeah, it could be the fact that you're on this path and it's now you've got to uh, sort of uh, reconnect uh, with that idea of being on that path um, and knowing that you're on the right way, uh, putting to bed those doubts. And I think that's what's going to give you that healing, that reassurance, that feeling of security, um, feeling of that nest, as it were. Um, being able to sleep um, fully, you know, not worrying so much, I think. I think that's what that solidness is all about, really. Let's see how the universe is trying to sort of influence you on uh, your financial sort of side, your money side of life. see bricks like you're renovating a house or you're putting bricks down on foundation so you're you're really you're really that you know universe is trying to help you to construct something to build something okay nurturing so seven of um seven of pentacles totally um i think this is where the universe is trying to encourage you to stay on that long-term path uh for you sorry got an itchy foot um yeah so the universe is trying to put into place the solidness of the growth of this plan that you've been working on. And it seems to be a long term plan. Uh, it seems to be there for a long time with you. And it seems it appears now that you're, you're you, it's like you're, you're 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 breaking that glass ceiling and you're moving up a notch. That's what it seems like. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence that karmic message. There's a lot of patience in there, a lot of sort of 
you know, relax, don't worry, wait, wait, wait. Now is not the time to strike, wait. So maybe this wave, and I was talking about it last week and the week before, that there's a big progression coming for you at the moment, Capricorn. And maybe it's just not this week. Maybe it's the case of the calm between before the storm, as it were. Um, and you've got to regroup yourself and re, uh, re sort of, um, you know, gather your strengths to go forward. Yeah, they're looking at the long term plan. This is what I'm saying. I think this is a really long term plan. And the Knight of Pentacles, uh, you've already got two knights on here, uh, which is all about journeys, starting journeys, going on a quest, as it were. And I think this here is. Uh, is the long-term plan and i think your guides have really concentrated on that sort of saying you just relax capricorn i'm dealing with stuff getting stuff sorted um bringing in the necessaries um uh, nurturing that pathway going forward let's just see how the uh, conversation is going on within you very small increments of change but quite a lot of them so uh, it's not like massive victories here, but it's getting, it's knocking down, it's like domino effect. It's knocking down one at a time. Um, and with that domino effect is when you knock one, you're gonna knock several out of the way. Um, and there's loads of those sort of things going on where your guides are kind of going, and now this, and now that. So it's a lot about timing. Um, oh, blimey, a tower. Well, I didn't see that. Well, maybe that is knocking down, <laughs> knocking down those dominoes. Yes, of course. Stupid me. Uh, I do apologise. Um, yeah, so yeah, knocking down old ways of being. And I think this is going to give you that space that's allowed that healing and that space which will allow the energy to come into your life in the way of uh, jobs, business, your projects and stuff like that. There's something really brewing up in you. And this plays back to that plain smart of avoiding conflicts that are not going to actually worth winning um some of them are just worth losing <laughs> so you no longer get involved with it anymore but um yeah it's gonna they're, they're clearing your guides here are just allowing things to go and they're just sort of saying forget that let that fall that's what they're sort of saying there and that's where they're helping to knock these dominoes out of the way um, so I don't think it's a tower moment as in like a massive thing. It might well be for, for some of you. It might be the fact that you might lose your job. But at the same time, if you lose your job, that means just it's a massive door opening to change your career or advance yourself in your life, you know. Um, but I don't think it's a massive thing. I think there's a lots of little things. Let's just see what the overall energy is going for you here, uh, Capricorn. That's really good. Compared with, um, there seems to be a lot going on under the surface here. And this is more sort of like, it's like you've got this persona of kind of going, it's all right, I've got it covered. I'm cool. I've got it covered. You know, um, I'm dealing with everything. I've got it, I've got it covered. Um, so, yeah, you, it, very emperorish sort of energy. Six of Pentacles. So, um, just looking at the... Um, You've got a couple of sixes already up the top there. Uh, you've got a couple of sevens as well. Um, and you've got a couple of knights. Um, and you've got a couple of pages. It's all to do with balance and harmony, by the way, by the looks of things. Um, it's all playing in twos here, um, which is one side or the other. And it's a yin-yang and getting into that whole sort of yin-yang. And I think that Six of Pentacles is that sort of fair exchange where you're, not, you're just not going to take stuff that's not that's not worth your while or not worth the while of the people that are around you. And I think that's probably a good thing. And I think that ties in with that, with that tower thing and that playing smart. But all of these pairings that we've got going on here, um, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Page of... Uh, uh, page of Cups and uh, the Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. It's all to do with money and heart there. There's a lot of pentacles and, and, and cups, uh, if you notice it. Um, and those pentacles and cups are really, um, yeah, are, uh, you know, you've got the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords as well. Um, but it's, it's 
to do with being concrete within your life and getting success within your life so you your heart is um, appeased and uh, relaxed and healed basically you feel like you you know you're getting the results from the work you're putting in that's what it seems like um, Aquarius um, Aquarius Capricorn I do apologize um, beautiful uh, beautiful reading um, if you want to support this channel it's very easy to do you just need to subscribe and click that bell apparently clicking that bell is really important um, we're doing lots of stuff on uh, in this month on cymatic TV as well you may want to get over there uh, on our sister channel and subscribe over there um, there's also loads of links in the description below and I will see you also on other videos over on Instagram in the meantime um, Capricorn, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.